sorry to interrupt, ladies. I was wondering if I could uh, speak to you for a minute. Give me a second. Thanks. Do any of you know about something called Degrassi nudes? Is that some sort of senior art class? <laughs> uh, no, it's a website where teen girls sold naked pictures for money. At this school? Allegedly. So you have no proof? Not yet, but I'm holding a school-wide assembly to see if I can find some. I'd like to speak at the assembly. Um, Zoe, did you hear what it's about? Ow! Uh, I'm, I'm confused too, Zoe. Uh, what value do you think you can add? As you might recall, I have some personal experience with the distribution of naked photos. Of course you may speak. Thank you, sir. Are you crazy? What is wrong with you? Ladies, take a breath. You're on to us. We have to confess. No, we need to stay quiet until after we compete in finals. What if Hunter falls through on his blackmail and rats us out? First, no one's confessing anything. Second, we're not competing in cheer finals. We're winning. And Hunter's not going to rat on anyone. He releases our names. We release his violent comic. What about the assembly? My speech throws him off our trail and makes the blackmailer's accusation harder to believe. Twisted. But it could work. Dearest Jacqueline, are you forgetting? I'm a brilliant actress. Whatever it takes. Suffragettes for women from upper and middle class backgrounds were frustrated with their social and economic situations. I think I'm ready to have sex with Dallas. Congratulations. And you think that's a bad idea? I just think you should be ready for the consequences before you go jumping into the sack with someone. I'm not just jumping into the sack with someone. Dallas and I are committed and we trust each other. Plus we'll be safe. I'm on birth control and we use a condom. Well, it sounds like you have everything under control, so back to the suffragettes. That's it. I tell you that I'm ready to have sex with my boyfriend and you want to talk about Susan B. Anthony? She's not in the mood for girl talk, okay? No, Clara, not okay. Do you think I was in the mood every time you wanted to talk about how you and Drew had so much fun at birthing class and how you and Drew are going to be great parents and how you and Drew... Just stop talking about me and Drew. There is no me and Drew. You're having a baby together. No, we're not. What? The baby is Eli's. Eli, you're having... Eli's baby? Shh, no one else knows. Well, how do you know? The doctor told me that the baby is 16 weeks, which makes it Eli's, not Drew's. How could I not know Eli was the father? Claire, focus. You are having a baby with the love of your life. This is a good thing. Is it? Yes, you just need to tell Drew and Eli the truth. No, no, I can't. And neither can you. I need some time to figure this out. Drew will be thrilled to have his life back. No offense, and Eli will be thrilled to have you. Okay, but what if they're not? I know you're still mad about the intervention, and I'm still not thrilled about all those horrible things you said, but it's been three days, three long days. It's time to kiss and make up. Emphasis on the kissing. Latte? You know that's got caffeine in it, right? Wouldn't want to get addicted. Okay, I admit it. The intervention was a little cray-cray, but I felt pressured to participate. For you. Come on, we can talk about it while Perino bores the rest of the class with tales of post-war Europe. <laughs> I need to sit up front. People seem worried about my poor performance. Frostbite, huh? It's gonna be a cold spring at Degrassi. Go ahead. Miles doesn't want that latte because it wasn't grande enough. I need a grand gesture if I want to win Miles back. A uh, terrible idea, dude. Hey, well, you're the one that pressured me to confront Miles on his pot addiction. What do you know? If Miles wanted to be with you, he'd be with you. And if he doesn't, you're better off alone.
you speaking at the assembly? Are you reading my private documents? Thought it was my history assignment. You're an idiot. Just like every other boy in the school. So we wait. Look, I know things have been weird between us, all right? But I'm thinking about you here. I need to do this for the same reason I joined cheer. To prove to people I'm not a victim, and people need to stop treating me like I am, including you. Okay, whoa, I don't. But maybe I did. But, but now I realize that, that cheer and, and speaking today, those are things that take courage. Maybe you're not a total idiot. Gee, thanks. What's up? Hunter. Who? Just a guy who picked a fight. So I was thinking after the movie, we can go back to my place. My parents will be out. Hello? Oh, I'm sorry. Am I boring you with plans for a super romantic date? Sorry. I was up all night helping Drew set up a crib. He's really stepping up to his daddy duties. <laughs> Isn't he worried that a baby's gonna ruin his life? Oh, he's pumped. Did he tell you? Him and Claire decided to name the baby Adam. Isn't that awesome? Yeah, it's so, so awesome. Um, hypothetical question. If Vanessa had told you that you weren't Rocky's dad, how would you react? Why would you ask a hypothetical question unless... Well... You only know one girl that's pregnant. Drew's not the father of Claire's baby? No, 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 I didn't, I didn't say that. How long has she known? <sighs> like, a day or two? She needs to tell my boy now. No, she needs time and we need to give it to her. We? Yes, we, you and me. You're my boyfriend who I trust. I don't love this. But you love me. Hello, collar hurting neck flesh. Screw your neck flesh. We had a deal. Which I haven't broken. Then why did I get this message? You're behind the grassy nudes? Why are you surprised? That message wasn't from me. Liar. Same creepy doll, same creepy sender, same creepy neck flesh. Don't. What do you want to know? Who sent the message? Probably the same person as before. That was you. No, I didn't send that message or any others. You're not the one who's blackmailing us. No. Uh, where's Frankie? She texted to say she wanted to meet me here. Um, I might have told her to tell you that because I wanted to surprise you. <laughs> you love sushi, and even though you pretend not to, you know you love origami. <laughs> you can't ignore me forever. Maybe this wasn't the best place for a grand gesture, but I, I care about you and I want to make it up to you. Well, I, I, I do love sushi. And, um, origami. <laughs> Yay! Um, I, I worried the kimono was too much and maybe culturally insensitive. <laughs> the kimono's fine, but the bow. Point taken. Okay, now let's eat. If we leave the sushi out too long, we'll be bowing over the toilet. <laughs> What do you mean Hunter's not the blackmailer? Hunter cut the original deal to keep his violent comic quiet. He lied? He didn't send that last message or any of the others. It has to be Hunter. Or another Hollingsworth. Not Miles. He's way too cute to be a villain. I think Zoe means Frankie. But she's our friend. Is she? Or is she a hater who wants to cheer so badly she's willing to burn us down if she can't be on the team? She oom it too. Why would she say anything? Look at her brothers. Her whole family's crazy. Maybe she turned on us. Frankie wouldn't. Her brothers are a hot mess, but she's my girl. Are you willing to bet finals on that? Or is it possible your friends become an enemy? So what do we do? There's one thing my mom taught me. It's 
keep your friends close and your enemies closer. So, have you thought any more about when you might tell Drew? I don't even know where to begin. Hey, sorry I ruined your senior year by mistaking you for the father of my baby. Got a date for prom. There are worse openings. All I'm saying is you should tell him before he finds out another way. No, Ali, you didn't. What the hell, Claire? When were you gonna tell me that Eli was the father? I mean, how could you be so stupid? It was an innocent mistake. Innocent? You didn't even know who the father of your kid was. I mean, what is this? I'm sorry, okay? I gave up my life for you, Claire. I told my mom. I broke up with Becky. And for what? How could you? What Drew deserved to know. Yeah, but you swore you would keep my secret. Come on, Allie. Secrets are just information waiting to be told. Okay, well, here's some information I've been waiting to tell you. I was ready to have sex, but not anymore. And thank you for having my back. Honey, I am so, so sorry. Is there anything I can do? Come with me. Frankie! 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 I want to start fresh. Excuse me? I feel terrible for forcing you off the team. And since negativity causes breakouts, as a friend, I have a favor to ask. Will you rejoin the team? Lola sprained her knee, and we're not sure how long it'll take to heal. We know I want to cheer, but... But what? Finals are around the corner, and you get to be the team's hero. Come cheer your little heart out, Hollingsworth. I haven't practiced in weeks. I don't even know your new routine. I'll teach you. Meet me in the locker room after class. Of course. Of course. I'm so stoked to be back on the team. <laughs> so why exactly are we beelining for the dot in the middle of the day? Are you craving one of their caramel brioches? I need to tell you like the truth. Wow. OK, are you sure you're ready? I can't let him hear it from someone else. Hey. Can we talk? Or I'll talk and you listen. If you need an ear, why don't you use Drew's? Because I have something to say that I think will fix things between us. How stupid are you? Excuse me? You can't fix things between us because there is no us. I, I know you're angry. I'm beyond angry. You threw it all away. New York, our future together, everything we've been through. Eli, I feel just like... No! You don't get to come here anytime you want for a chat. Not after you ruined everything. And for what? So you could jump into bed with Drew Torres? Here's Claire. Didn't expect to see those from such a whore. A reminder to all students, there's a very important assembly this afternoon in the gym. So? Miles stayed for your sushi lunch. I assume romance is reborn? <laughs> sure. I'm surprised. I thought you'd be bouncing off the walls. What's up? I thought my sushi surprise was a hit, but he barely said two words while we ate. He wasn't talking. He wasn't opening my origami love notes either, and I honestly can't figure out why. I have a pretty good idea. Here's your old uniform back. Perfect. Now, for the Panthers pride routine, there's now a bow and arrow before the aerial flip. Say it back to me. <laughs> bow and arrow before the aerial flip. Got it. And we need tight, high baskets on our basket tosses. No problem, tight, high baskets. What the hell are you doing? Getting insurance. Sell the innocent rich girl routine to the others. I'm not buying. What are you talking about? It's you sending the blackmail messages. But you go public now. I have this picture of you, undressed, with your face easily identifiable. Oomph chat lands on you. 
Blackmail? Go public? I wonder about your daddy would think of this shot days before the election. Zoe, Zoe, my parents can't uh, see uh, that. Uh, uh. Why don't wanna piss me off, Hollingsworth? Or hello, internet. Okay, whatever you think I did. It's not me. I swear. It wouldn't hurt you guys. Now, if you wouldn't mind getting the hell out of here, I have to get all heroic at the assembly. Heroic? You think putting on a cheerleading uniform can cover up what you are? You're rotten inside. You're a villain, and you deserve the absolute worst to happen to you. Skipping the assembly? Yeah, it's not my thing. I'm surprised you're alone. What's that supposed to mean? You know, I kept thinking it was the intervention that pushed you away. Just what happened after that. I drove Maya to an appointment, so what? So you still have feelings for her? Because I gave her a ride? Because you stare at her from across the hall, Miles. Tell me I'm wrong. Tell me you don't have feelings for Maya. You are a terrible person. You use and abuse people, and one day you're gonna wake up and realize you have nobody. And I am so happy that I won't be there for that sad, sad day. Because I am so done. Sayonara, Miles Hollingsworth. Too many months now, my heart's been fighting this war. I don't wanna love All right, everybody, settle down. Settle down. Now, I'm uh, sure you've all heard by now of uh, Degrassi Nudes, a website selling pictures of uh, girls in their, uh, well, as I said, I'm sure you've all heard. <laughs> this isn't funny, I assure you. And when I find out the students involved, and I will, there may be child pornography charges for them. But more importantly, you should all be aware of the emotional cost of distributing such images online. To speak to that is Zoe Rivas. Everyone's been talking about the girls who did this. But we all know they aren't the first to share nudes online. Some girls do it willingly, while others, like me, have had their image shared without permission. When you think about showing your buddy a sexy photo of your girlfriend or buying nude shots or taking a compromising picture without permission and putting it online, you have a choice. You can be villains and do those things, or you can act heroically and resist that urge. We've all done things we regret, but today we have a chance to move forward. We all deserve it. No, we demand it. Whatever it takes 
I know I can make it through And if I hold out I know I can make it through I know I I know I can make it through